let's take a moment together to just drop in to our bodies because remembering this is a somatic experience. So uh, turning our attention inward just for a moment, letting ourselves settle in and settle down and notice how wonderful it can be right where we are, right in this moment, right here in present time. No need to be racing ahead, uh, thinking about what you might say, what you might bring up, Noticing we can bring our attention right back here to the moment. I can feel in the room there's a little bit, the Americans know that if you go to a networking meeting perhaps and everybody has one minute to introduce themselves and uh, it goes around the room and have you ever been to one of those and you didn't hear anybody else or you didn't remember anything because you were focused on, oh, I have to be understood and I have to be seen correctly. So we're in our thinking mind. So this is just an invitation, thank you, to just release some of that energy. Ah, it's surrendering and trusting that the right thing will happen today. Take a big breath into your belly oh, and release that. You can just surrender because life has your back, just like gravity has your back right here. And it's all been unfolding in a perfect way. As we said, there's just a little bit of hunger in the room. People are, some people are inventing some stuff about oh, day three, am I gonna get my turn? If you tune in with your intention held lightly to source that you get everything you need today, that's gonna happen. And it may be from you being in the chair and it may be from other people being in the chair. And thank you for that. I could just feel a lot of re release in the room and we also want to thank our little guard parts again, our skeptical parts that have been watching so patiently. Peter was just speaking about the importance of patience and my goodness, have those parts been patient because they're us usually hop to it parts to protect and defend. And I just wanna thank all of them, all your unconscious parts that are allowing for this beautiful interchange of the energy to flow back and forth. and new understanding opening up, new perceiving of brand new possibilities. So that's what's on the table. Notice, wow, there's such an energetic invitation right here to kind of let go of what we thought we needed before. Take another big breath, might put your hand on your tummy or your chest, just breathing, not knowing in like, oh, what if what's possible today and cumulatively from what we've done in the past couple of days, what if that could be even better than anything I ever knew before was possible? Just breathe that in. Would you be willing to let go of any preconceived notions about what you believe you need or what you believe might be possible? Would you be willing to let that go if in fact you could have more and better and richer? Yeah, allow yourself to open to the possibility to be nurtured in a new way, to have insight come in and go directly to your unconscious and just bypass your monkey mind. Go straight to the body and let the wisdom of the body that's ready to change just say thank you for kind of stepping aside and getting out of the way and letting the body just soak up all the love that's coming its way, all the new possibility. It's really about all that new possibility. Thank you, thank you. I can feel all the willingness in the room, appreciating all of that. One more time, one more big breath. Really centering into the body, feeling your feet on the floor now and drawing up the energy from the earth from the bottom up and from the top down, apparently, and from the top down, both at the same time, filling your body with life's energy and readiness for a beautiful day. So we thank you for all of that. And we're ready and we release all that and let it go. And we're ready for a new adventure with our friend, Peter Koenig, the source of this beautiful reclamation tool. Thank you. So, Peter, let's see. I'm going to ask you to speak, Peter, to come to the front of the screen for my screen. Just say hi. Okay. 
thank you. I was, hi. I was sometimes, hi there. We're so happy to be here with you. And sometimes we have to do that to make the Zoom gods cooperate. Okay. So the first thing I, I got some feedback from people last night that had things stirred up from, oh, no, 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 don't, don't pin us. So whoever just pinned us, please undo that now. Right now, Peter and I are side by side, and this means you'll see no faces of anybody else coming in. And I didn't do it. So whoever cohorts just pinned, co there, thank you, whoever undid it. Thank you very much, appreciate it. So uh, I heard from, well, let's see, you can raise your hand if you had stuff stirred up from last night. This is separate from a new topic that you wanna bring, but I'd like to hear from anyone that's kind of burning, that had a big, uh, shift as a function of yesterday and or if you're someone that we spoke with yesterday who noticed a big shift or the day before. So one of the people Peter worked with, if you noticed a shift as a function of that, we'd love to hear that too. So go ahead and either go like this so that I can see it. Uh, D. Terrell, I see you have a comment. Would you like to unmute yours and Jennifer? So D. Terrell, what have you noticed? You can take yourself off mute. <laughs> <laughs> I was commenting on how soothing and satisfying and just loving and nurturing what you just did, um, because I just really opened up myself and just let that in. And I'm like, you can repurpose that, Wendy, and use it. I'm serious. You can use it somewhere else because it's really, really good. And it really just releases, at least for me, it just released me from the trying and the efforting and worrying about how it has to be a certain way. And actually that was the, um, for me, that was a big thing that just letting go and not having things have to be a certain way or I have to figure it out just to be open and trusting and receptive. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that those things just happen because life wants them in that moment. So thank you for that. Uh, I'm glad that had that impact, but that's what life wanted me to say right there. So bless you, because this field called for it. Okay, Jennifer, uh, if you can unmute, please. What did you notice since yesterday? Yes. Well, I definitely felt like a huge, almost like a physical weight lifted off of me. And you know, the way a lot of this was manifesting was this just like insatiable drive to eat, but specifically things that weren't, didn't agree with me. And um, I just, didn't I wasn't hungry afterwards like I was finally just not hungry and and I I was able to eat without being like oh god am I on plan am I not am I I just felt freedom around food which um was nice because it consumes a lot it would have been consuming a lot of my um attention knowing that like every time I ate I was doing something harmful to myself so just relax and I still feel like raw and vulnerable and all that's still there but um a lot more ease Thank you. And how fabulous that you feel raw and vulnerable. That's so, and that's fantastic, right? Because it's so open oh, yeah. in, oh, yeah. it's just, in the day. Yeah, no, it's it's just stuff moving out. I mean, I, I don't feel um, upset. I just feel like uh, tender is all. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your, your response. It's beautiful. Uh, okay. And I can't see the rest of your hands. I'm going to go to gallery um, view for Oh, yes. The, uh, Kahanu had her hand up and Lisa has her hand up. And Beautiful. Yeah, well, there's a few, but those are the ones on my screen right now. And Kahanu, is this about impact from yesterday or was it a new thing? Yeah, yeah. over the last two days, just um, came to me how ruining someone's life could be a good thing because that's one of the mom things that came out for me. And um, just the freedom of the it's okay and that permission and um so i've just been really grateful and that insight that i gained from the work the last um two days and listening to everyone else's piece and then like being skinny and beautiful and that's okay fantastic was my other because mine wasn't the ugly and fat it was the skinny and beautiful that was more charged and so releasing that and that was huge because I also changed then the food that I was eating because it was okay to be skinny and beautiful. Wow, Peter, do you have any comment there? That touches my heart. Um, I'm just in, in appreciating and enjoying listening at the moment. 
wonderful. Thank you for thank all you. these echoes. They're very rich. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I hear it, Lisa, you've had your hand up quite a bit and uh, you please unmute. And is this about something you noticed or a new thing? Well, a new topic? It's a combination of both. I want to be on today, but what I noticed yesterday that was so amazing mm -hmm. was the acceptance and the idea of being, oh gosh, how'd you say it? Um, I'm fat and I'm ugly and it's okay. And I, <laughs> I'm, you know, um, that was hard. That was really, really hard yeah. because I've never really looked at myself that way. And I'm going to say to anybody, that is some of our deepest fears. And I used to work with the risk factor obesity clinic in, um, at UCLA. I was one of their administrators and I know that world. Mm. And if we could have done that for anybody in any clinic to get them to go through this, their success would have been so much more different. Their lives would have been different. And to give to people for imagery. Oh, and things like it. that to free mm -hmm. them. As we did earlier. Oh, so they don't have to do earlier like what they were doing was hiding. You remember yes. everybody hides? Yes. This, this goes across the board. Yes. So that was my response to that. And today I just, I'm going to say, I want to work with Peter on failure because he said, I listened, I re-listened to what he was, your introduction yesterday. He says, oh, it's all right. I've already released massive failure. And I said, okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. And I have just, a, it, it, this is just completely my aesthetic. If you're willing to not have your background, because it's making you look just bald, which we could have that, you know, if you would like, but it does something, it, it, those backgrounds do something really interesting with the hair and uh, you, you, you're beautiful bald, but it, it, uh, <laughs> it, brings, it brings the attention away from what you're saying. So if you want to just turn that feature off, I know you're on your phone, or if you like being bald, you could keep it like that. Just thought I put that in there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and, and then Wendy, there there are other hands raised. So so to, uh, what we have now is Deborah, Sierra, Annie, and Heather. Great. And Deborah, I'm going to get to you because I got it. You wrote to me, so hang tight. Um, Kira, what did you notice from yesterday? Um. You, yeah. Yeah. I noticed actually what came up after the class yesterday. Um, I'd mentioned about you know, being highly sensitive. And in recent months, I've released a whole lot of shame around that. Um, that was actually pulling me down like an anchor mm -hmm. because, uh, and I realized in a, in a process that I did that that shame that I had for most of my life for not fitting into the mainstream reality, you know, I'm, I'm butting my head against the wall, trying to fit into that reality where I was never designed to fit in the first place. <laughs> and then, then I released all the shame, well, a, a load of it anyway, uh, connected with that not being able to fit in. And um, what was my point? I don't even know what my point was. That that brought that up yet, uh, yesterday. It was like, you know, how much I've, I've moved and I've come from that place of being shame riddled for not being able to fit mm -hmm. into a place of being able to claim well I didn't come to fit in I came to stand out as myself and whatever way that is I don't know what that is yet but um you know I, I you know I'm maybe able to offer stuff to help other HSPs I don't know where I'm going to go with this if anywhere I don't know because that visibility thing is you know still a player but if I'm with the right people, I'll speak up and I'll talk out, like here, for example. But if I'm with a bunch of people and I'm, mean, you know, people I'm not sure of, no, I'll not speak. Yeah. You know, but when Peter spoke about, you know, when you're in your whatever power thing, you, you know, everything will flat in the place kind of thing. I can't remember the exact word you used, Peter, but that really resonated with me as well. So, um, Yeah. I don't know. That probably sounds like a load of waffle, but I don't know. Not at all. <laughs> it's like a little, 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 little no. up there. 
<laughs> no, not in, uh, quite au contraire, my friend, because what you just gave to the room, did everybody feel it? Feel into, play with me for a moment, if you would. Feel into that, I don't fit in, and that's fantastic. Like, she, yes. you, I felt your leap from, the, you, mm -hmm. you offloaded the shame and whatever before, but then you had a new awareness, and then mm -hmm. that place of I don't fit in, and that this is wonderful, it's not wrong. I can see it in you. That's an enormous change. And everybody, if you're willing to tap into that, what a great reclamation to play with. Peter, well, I can see you. I, yes. Can I just, just add on something like that? Another yeah. way of describing it, and you, you described it this way, Sarah, mm -hmm. is to say, I'm outstanding. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <Wow>. Thank you. <laughs> Wow. I'm outstanding in my field. That's a real Irish one, Matt. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 <laughs> I green field normally, but it's, yes. It's, <laughs> it's your words. I'm just repeating your words. You actually said it. You stand out. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> outstanding. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is the gift that keeps giving. It's just iterative and you can hear all the different things as you as you go, right? Um, mm -hmm. who was, Thank Julian, you. who was right? Oh, Lisa. Yes. Lisa, did you, did you have your hand raised and you, uh, yeah, Lisa, and Lisa had a new issue to work on today. Uh, we haven't heard yet from Deborah or Annie or Heather and Will also has his. Okay. Raised. All right. Um, I know I want to go with Deborah because you wrote me a letter about, and the energy is here and it's already come up in other people's work about hiding and shame and how you were triggered with T's work. And, and we're circling around to that issue again with hiding and visibility. So if you'll hang tight, actually, let me just do this quickly then. I'd like to hear from Annie and Heather and Will about what are the issues that you wanted to uh, address today. So we can just feel into the energy I already heard from, from uh, Lisa and Kira. So Annie, yesterday you were speaking to us about, uh, I think also it was, a fraud was it not mm -hmm. yeah and i wanted to just comment you know about what t said yesterday um being visible being recognized um i like to stand in the shadows and and i think a lot of that comes from that fear of failure um wanting to do good, wanting to be perfect, that whole perfection piece comes in. Um, and then when Jennifer mentioned, I'm dead and I don't exist and that's wonderful, that brings up all of that, I'm insignificant, um, being teased as a tomboy, um, you know, being the, the ugly friend, um, just, just being the wallflower and not, not standing out. And so I just, I don't even know where I'm going with all of this right now, but yeah, T and, and Jennifer really kind of hit me yesterday. I was really tired. I went to bed at 8.30 last night, just oh, thinking oh. about it. Thank you for being here in the moment. And Deborah, we're gonna get to you in a bit. I promise to not leave that dangling thread, but Annie's ready right now. And we're going to ask Peter to just assist. I've heard several themes in there triggered by the hiding and the visibility, but I, what I, well, you'll know where to go, Peter, but the insignificant really spiked and, well, and all, yeah. Yeah, go, yeah, go ahead. So, so Annie, thank you. And I have a feeling this might be the same as Deborah, but we'll see. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it feels to me it's got something to do uh, with how worthy you feel. Self, your self-worth, is that right? Yeah. Yes. So, um, so I'm going to ask you to say what will feel like a lie to start off with, and probably a couple of lies, but um, just, just, Try saying, um, I'm, uh, I'm of infinite worth. I 
it's so hard to believe. Yeah, you don't have to believe it. It's a, it's a lie. I'm of, I'm of infinite worth. Mm -hmm. And Annie, would you tap while you say that, please, for me? Yeah, I try to try doing this. Yeah. Nadia tapping. <laughs> yeah, while you while you're talking to Peter, just humor me. I, I'm a, I'm of infinite worth. <laughs> I'm of okay. infinite worth. Yeah, um, and I think you can try saying. Um, with and without, we'll, we'll just go with money here. With and without money, are you in? Are you in debt? No. You have a lot of money. Um, I'm single, so I have to rely on myself. So I'm the squirrel that has lots of nets. If that okay. makes sense. <laughs> okay. So, so I'm, I'm of infinite worth with and without money. I'm of infinite worth with and without money. Yeah. I'm of infinite worth with and without money. Imagine you've got no money at all. That's one of my biggest fears of being of the fraud. That I'll lose my job, I'll lose my house, and I'll become homeless. Yeah. Yeah. you you could be in you could join the Swiss. There are many Swiss that way, I can assure you. The the problem in Switzerland, let me tell you, is that we don't have enough bridges for all the people that have this via. <laughs> We're short of bridges. <laughs> I'm of infinite worth with and without money. I'm of infinite worth with and without money. Yeah. Okay. Now, now we're going to the polarity. Okay. We're going to the opposite. So try saying, I'm of no worth at all. I'm of no worth at all. How does that feel? <laughs> like a truth. It's, it's true, isn't it? That's your chronic situation. You feel that you're no worth at all. You've got no worth at all. And you're trying, it's, such, it's so stressful to try and prove to everybody that you're, you've got worth. Isn't that right? That's why I overwork myself. Yeah, it takes an enormous amount of energy to try and show how worthy you are and you have this feeling that whenever you're with other people you have to kind of profile yourself and say hey i'm here you know uh, take a take note i'm here that takes an enormous amount of energy <laughs> so it's the, exhausting the solution, exhausting totally so just imagine now i'm of i'm of no worth and now We'll add on. It's perfectly okay to be of no worth at all. It's perfectly okay to be of no worth at all. Yeah, I'm of no worth. I'm like a speck of dust in the wind, of no worth I'm, at all. I'm of no worth at all, and I'm like a speck of dust in the wind. And it's really great. And it's really great. <laughs> I feel like I'm a big empty hole right here. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a great empty hole. It's wonderful. <laughs> I have a great empty hole. It's wonderful. And I yeah. need to fill it up <laughs> with something. Just, just leave it empty. <laughs> in fact, you are a great empty hole with a W in front of it or without one. You can try saying that, I'm an empty hole. I'm an empty hole. How does that feel? I am an empty hole. And I give myself permission to be an empty hole. 
And I give myself permission to be an empty hole. <laughs> yeah. How is that? That's not bad. No, it's not bad, is it? Yeah. 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 <sighs> yeah. <sighs> I'm of no worth at all. And it's just, actually, it feels wonderful. I'm of no yeah. worth at all. And it and feels really wonderful. wonderful. Yeah. I don't have to prove anybody to any, anything to anybody. I don't have to prove anything to anybody. All right. Because I'm worthless. Got no, <laughs> you're, you're worthless. You've got nothing to offer. <laughs> I don't have anything to offer. I am worthless yeah. and it's great. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is actually, if you look at it, if you look at it, Annie, with most of us, this is the situation most of our lives, most of our time of our lives. Most of the time, and this applies to all of us, most of the time of our lives, we've got nothing to offer. I mean, look at, Look at the champion of the 100 meters in the Olympics. He's useless at running 400 meters. <laughs> <laughs> or throwing a javelin. <laughs> or lifting heavy weights. I mean, you know. It, that is his specialty. <laughs> yeah, the 100 right. meter. The specialty is 100 meters. So, you know, if he's trying to do all the other stuff, he's, he's worthless at all the other stuff. And actually, this applies to all of us. So, so it really, it's, it's great to accept that we're worthless, but it doesn't mean that we needn't be present. So, um, so you know, it, it, when you get this, it means that you can just be around and hang around totally worthless, but you can you can be part without having to profile or, sh or show yourself. And sometimes it's very useful uh, actually not to even show yourself. So it's useful to be even in hiding if you like, but you can still be present. I mean, if you look at what's happening in this room, most of the people in the ro room at this moment are totally worthless. <laughs> most of you are totally worthless. <laughs> But actually, uh, actually, your presence does something. Just even if your activity is not, you know, you're not being active or doing anything. Uh, because if you try to sort of put your hand up right now and say, I'm here, look at me, it would get in the way of what's going on if it's not at the right moment. So, so, so it, it, on that level of activity and, and performance, we're all worthless. You're worthless, and it's great. Just to just to allow that to happen. So, how how is it? What's happening with you now? How are you feeling right now? I'm worthless, and it's great. Neutral, neutral. Yeah. It's sort of landing now. Yeah. yeah, I'm worthless, and it's great. Yeah, great. So now we'll go back to the other side. So now, now I try saying it again, because, you know, when you, when you are a hundred meters runner, you want to be of infinite worth at that moment when you're on stage and you have to run the hundred meters. At that moment, it's pretty stupid to tell yourself I'm worthless <laughs> when you're about to run the hundred meters and you're a champion. Mm -hmm. So at that moment, you want to be able to say I'm of infinite worth. So try saying now, I'm of infinite worth. I'm of infinite worth. With and without, and we'll stay with money, with and without money. So imagine, imagine you lost all your savings. You know, they're all gone. I am of infinite worth with and without money. Yeah. I am of infinite worth with and without money. Mm -hmm. How's, what's happening with you now? 
It's easier. Yeah, it's landing, it's, studying, yeah. and coming. Yeah. I am of infinite worth with and without money. Yeah. I could lose it all and I'd still That's be worthy. Right. Exactly. You get it. You're getting it. <sighs> Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. got nothing to do with how much money you've got. My worth is right here. Yeah. And I have to keep it myself. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So we'll stay with you because I imagine this may be rebounding a bit. There may be some resonance in the room here. Um, Wendy, do you want to? Yes. Sort of... Yes. Curious to see what's landing for other people. That was gorgeous. And we saw the incredible affect change for Annie and how things landed in her body. Uh, did that bring up particular things for people? Actually, if you would lower the hands, Jolene, so you'll need to raise them again later if I didn't hear from you. But I'd like to know now who had something that just occurred uh, when Peter worked with Annie anything bubbling up anything burning for anybody okay detrell i see detrell detrell you can un unmute what did you notice right there that um i had to come off camera because i just started bawling like so mad and uh, and i didn't know that that was that would have such an effect on me and I didn't want to interfere with the group. So that's why I just went off camera. <laughs> but um, I just want to thank Annie for that because um, I could just feel myself relating to her. And then when she just started saying the statements, <laughs> when she started saying the statements, it just, just all came out. But I do feel much clearer in, in this part of my body. And when she said that my worth is here i i could feel that and i can relate to that and i just i can i cannot just thank you i just cannot thank you enough wendy because you know the struggle you know the struggle that i've been going through all these years like six years however many years i've been working with you and I'm just so happy that I just always just stuck with you because I could just feel like on some level that I was going to be able, if I just kept going, that I would be able to break through. So I just want to thank you and just thank everybody that's here too. Absolutely. Sweet thing. And I'm, am I hearing then correctly that you're experiencing a new freedom, a new awareness now after watching Annie work? Can you say yes, anything I about feel that? Much, I didn't... I didn't realize how much I felt like around my heart, like just crunched and tightness. And through just doing her, just through her doing what she did, I could just feel the release of just holding on to trying to be perfect and trying to, and when, especially when she said the part about overworking, just working seven days a week, morning, noon, and night, having no division between working time and play time or any of that stuff, I could just really relate to that. And I really tapped into that was the reason why, because I didn't feel like I had any worth, like in the negative numbers worth. Yes. Thank you. Peter, yeah. is there anything you want to add right there? Or are we, are you? I, I, I don't just think we need Jennifer to. Has, Jennifer has her hand up as well. Okay. Peter, go ahead. I don't think there's anything, in, just to hear one or two more or a few more, yep. if, if, I have a feeling there's more to express in the room. That's the only thing yes. i Yes, Jennifer, go ahead. What's your notice or what's coming yeah. up for you? Well, this is really relevant for me because in another you know, person like I listen to their thoughts or ideas, they've been unraveling the idea of we have our worth wrapped up in like in a capitalistic society, everything has a monetary worth and our worth is, has to do with that. And how can a person and a consciousness actually have a monetary worth? Like who's worth $15 an hour or $500 an hour? And so I've been unraveling that and a little bit like, it's not as like eh for me, but realizing how much like, like I think I can't quite access all the right now cause I'm still raw from before but this is exactly the other thing I would have worked on. 
and with Annie, it really brought up like, I've had so much shame because I'm single and I don't have a nest egg and I have debt and it's terrifying because I'm either like have to rely on someone else or I'm screwed if something happens. And so like now it's coming up now, <laughs> but like just having that like idea that like I'm of infinite worth with and without money, I have no worth, like that just really, really resonates. And I, that's like a piece I think the world needs. On, like, I mean, all of this is valuable, but I think in, in our society, that's a piece that, like everyone could really benefit from. So thank you, Annie, for bringing Beautiful. that. Beautiful. Thank you. So and let I, me just add, yeah, go ahead. Oh. No, nope, Let me go just ahead. add something there. Um, for those of you that are maybe self-employed, but, but it may, may be for those of you that are salaried too, you know, the language talks about in our normal language, we talk about how much is, are you worth? Mm -hmm. Now, if you understand this work, um, if you're setting a price on your work, depending how much you are worth, you're going to be lost. Mm -hmm. um, I have had yes. many, <laughs> I've had many therapists and coaches who are brilliant come into my money seminars because they don't, when they get to a certain of level of consciousness, they don't know what to charge anymore. Mm -hmm. And the reason is that they don't know how much they're worth. Um, and of course, we don't know how much we're worth because we're of infinite worth at one moment and we're worth nothing at another moment, as we just seen. So this is actually a key, key thing to notice. This reclamation is absolutely key because what you are, if you are, for example, self-employed, you're not selling yourself, you're selling your work. And this distinction is absolutely essential to note because you're selling a product or a service which the service and the product is in the market. You're not in the market, it's your product and your service that is in the market. And this distinction is absolutely key because you're dealing in relationship with someone else. And the art is to find a good price, for example, related to that relationship, which is inspiring. And this applies whether you happen to be in a credit situation or a debt situation. You see, um, where there is money, there is debt. Because anybody who has studied the system that, that we have pre presently knows that they're two sides of the same coin. So being in debt is not necessarily bad and being in credit or having money in a bank account doesn't necessarily make you happier than somebody who is in debt. And the key is actually in the relationship. So the relationship is, up, is, is the key aspect and it's more like an art. So, um, so when you do this work, the more you reclaim, the better you become as an artist at setting a price for something. Because the goal of price setting should be that you are inspired when you are paid, for example, but the person paying you should be inspired as well by paying you. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, so if you, coming back to, if you've got your pay, the, the amount of payment tied into your self-worth, you, you're lost. You can't possibly even start. So I, I just wanted to add that in because there may be several of you yeah. in that kind of position here. And, and the reclamation here mm -hmm. of worth, your self-worth is absolutely essential to free yourself up, to be able to, um, to, be able to handle your... Uh, the products and services that you may be offering and wanting to sell. And that ultimately that will apply also if you're in a salary situation, but especially for people who, have, who are running their own um, businesses. So I just wanted to put that in. So incredibly helpful. And we have many, many uh, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, or people that have, that don't have a day job, but if they have a side hustle. So we, that's a, kind of another ethos. We have many people here and that's an enormous distinction and a place I've gotten tripped up personally quite a bit. So I appreciate those specific words too. Beautiful, thank you. 
Um, I'm checking here for a moment. Will, I didn't even see your comment, but we haven't heard from you yet. And I think you just had a pop in this discussion. Could you just come off mute for a second if you're available and share whatever is going on for you, whatever you're noticing? Yeah, I mean, I am self-employed. So that's also, this is very relevant for me. Um, and just thinking about pricing and I've heard, I can't remember how many times I've heard like charge what you're worth. <laughs> and it's just now I just like, I know I'll just laugh when I hear that <laughs> from now on the rest of my life. Um, but I just like D Terrell, I think mentioned having negative worth, like mention or thinking of the idea of almost having negative worth. And I was just thinking like, I've had that sort of thought at times and if you're working and you have negative worth doesn't that mean that the more you work like the worse it is and i just had that thought that i was like wow that's crazy like you could literally work non-stop and you're just digging yourself deeper into a hole um so yeah this is just amazing just thinking getting new ways to think about this and then turning them into phrases to reclaim um yeah. This is just I, one thing I love about this is the ability to take some take things that seem true and that feel true, but then actually put them into practice in a way that you can use them for change. Because I've done a lot of the time in the past where I see something, I'm like, that's amazing. That makes so much sense. But then I can't implement it into my life. So this is just such a fast path to implementing things. Um, which is great and connecting that like the theory with, okay, how do I actually use this to change something? Yeah. So. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate you. Gorgeous. All right. Are you wanting to return back to Annie, Peter? Yes. Are we done in the room? I, I see Maggie's got her hand up. Oh, you're that... good. I could very good. Thank you that you can see that. That's good. Maggie, if you want to come off, if your comment is about this. Uh, hi. hi, go ahead. Um, I just want to say thank you, but first of all, for everyone that's sharing, because it's just amazing how everything each person is sharing just hits home and so deep and is, and, and I, you know, I can just see how universal these issues are, the, 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 the beliefs and everything we struggle with is so universal. Um, I'm, my, I, I wanna share sort of my scenario because my, my biggest challenge throughout my whole life has been overwhelm. And um, through much of my life, I've gone through some huge um, down, downturns, like it's been like a roller coaster ride and um, where my life has crashed on every level, um, health, work, finances, everything. Um, and I've recently gone through a couple of years that have been very intense that way where I've lost everything again, as well as a, a lot of dear people in my life, uh, six people in, in the last couple of years, including my father and brother and um, my fiance, uh, just uh, a lot of loss. Um, and I, I'm not, I'm not sure how to sort of keep coming out of that. And I want it to stop. Like I just, I want the roller coaster and the devastation to stop. Um, so, and I'm I, like, right now I'm living in somebody else's home. I have nothing. I've got a few things in storage, but um, I walked away from an entire life. I've gone back to school. I'm here because I'm really just trying to reclaim my life, um, get my health back on track and all that. It's been a real rough road. Um, and I've been feeling like I've been spinning my wheels. So I'm really excited about this work. Um, and, and, and not surprised that I landed here because I have been finding through other sources, something similar to this, but not as efficient and streamlined and as beautifully accessed as this here. Um, so yeah, uh, Wendy, Peter, how, how do you work with people that are in chronic overwhelm? 
Peter, I'll give that to you because I could feel yeah. the, uh, not just the overwhelm, but the patterning. Some of us that have these kinds of relationships with money. And uh, so you spoke about that, about the loss of money, loss of people, loss of identity, really starting over. Yeah. And that's the sort of bigger pattern of all those things. But Peter, I'll, uh, I'll turn it to you. So, so I have a feeling we're on to a bit of a new subject. So can you just hold that for the moment? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. While we go back to, to Annie and then we come back. Sure. Okay. That would be my suggestion. <laughs> Very so good. Just, so just check in, Annie, how, how, how and where are you at? Right, right now, how are you doing? I'm feeling pretty good knowing, you know, what you said about the, I, this is funny because I'm in sports medicine. So your sports analogy of the hundred meter runner just really landed with me that he is worthless to do a 400 or a 5k, but boy, is he on when he's on in that hundred meter. And it's okay to be worthless in all these other things. And that's, that's pretty huge for me to be able to realize that I'm worthless and that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, and, and I am of infinite worth and, and that's pretty fantastic as well. Yeah. I do have infinite worth. Yeah. And it's just how I choose to let you know how worthy I am. Great. So do you, do you feel we've, you're done right now? <laughs> Are we... I'm sure something else is going to come up in someone <laughs> else's work, but um, I have some, I have some enlightenment and some, some skills to use for myself. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you. You are a true blessing. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Annie. And I just want to underline for everybody. I know that you saw that but just take this moment to feel into the shift in her, the congruency, what you could really feel. You know, we've, we, we've, many of us in this community have come from personal development places where they kind of jack you up and glaze you over and you feel good for a weekend and then you walk away and it crashes again. But you can perceive in her field, in her affect, in the change, the inner congruency on the inside, there's not that war now you could just feel it. And I'd love for everybody to feel into that possibility for yourself. When we started today, we were talking about brand new possibilities opening up beyond what we thought could be possible for us. So I'm actually speaking directly to everyone's unconscious mind right here. Just aha, uh -huh. note to self, little check, uh, directing attention. I think so many parts caught that, but we're just sort of underlining that and and adding to that, thank you. That's a that's a gift beyond measure. So, uh, and there's just one other thing. Jackson, did you have something you wanted to say to us? Did you have something? Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm just checking. No. You did not. Okay, never mind. All right, thank you. So, um, so Peter, go to Maggie Next. and yeah, yeah. And I didn't forget you, Deborah. Just patience is required today. So, uh, <laughs> so Maggie, Hi. Laura and Peter, you have the, the, the chair there. Well, from, from what you've expressed, Maggie, so far, it feels like, it feels like you're, you're in a process of shedding everything. Um, yes, I agree. That, that, that has been, it was a huge leap of faith to walk away from the life I had. Um, and there's obviously a profound story attached to it and I'm still dealing with the post-traumatic stress from that. Um, it's been, a, it's been a, and, and I jumped right into having to care for my elderly father and it was so intense the past year that it just, there wasn't, there wasn't room for me to do processing as to where I actually was coming from. Um, and, and, and I'm just in linking back to Annie and her sharing, I'm just realizing that at the foundation of my life too, when I was younger, also feeling like a wallflower and an ugly and worthless and unappreciated, unnoticed, um, and not even wanting to be noticed and all of that and, and being pushed aside and 
and, you know, kicked to the curb and feeling like a martyr and all that kind of nonsense. And my, the relationship with my fiance, whom I left, ended up actually bringing forward just a lot of that stuff into present time, including my landing in my parents' home and helping out and seeing the pattern repeat itself and mirrored to me, oh, this is where it came from. Um, so I really, it's, it is kind of like a full circle moment in my life right now where, yes, it's, I, I'm ready to shed this stuff. I do not want to continue this pattern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so was it a kind of pattern of abuse? Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Um, and, and I realized too, how much the abuse that you've conditioned to accept is also the internal abuse that you're conditioned to repeat within yeah. yourself. Yeah. And I was like the good little girl taking care of other people all the time. <laughs> right. And, and just, uh, just trying to find some semblance of sanity and, and stability in a very chaotic life, mm -hmm. very unstable. So and it goes back, it goes back to a very young age. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You I can, I have memories from toddlerhood that were of being of being abused by your mother, your father. Uh, well, uh, certainly throughout childhood, yes. Uh, witnessing abuse, witnessing abuse um, all the time, every day, very chaotically between my parents, and just a lot of neglect. Um, and and that's where I think I got the wallflower and um, you're better off being the little mouse and not being visible. Um, because I still to this day struggle with being visible like so many have expressed here. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a, likely a, a safety issue, uh, but it's so, it's so deep that it's really mm -hmm. hard to even want to be visible because it's so deep something that I learned very young in my life um, you know that it's just that's you're not I don't know there's so there's so much to it's not it. safe <laughs> yeah 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 and and also just that it it throws me immediately into a sense of overwhelm and over responsibility and if I've already been over responsible for so many throughout my life I don't want to be visible because I'm so exhausted and drained and depleted by having been so over responsible already. So I, I almost like I'd rather retreat and not be visible because I just want to give myself permission to be responsible only for myself and let go of that pattern of being so over responsible for others. But still, I have to find a way to make it in the world, right? To come, come back into the marketplace. Well, well, you are making it, aren't you? I mean, you're, it sounded like you're destitute right now. Uh, well, yeah, I, I'm not working. Um, I'm helping out with the family and, you know, they're keeping me, uh, keeping, keeping a roof over my head. Um, Is that your family or friends? Well, I, I came back into my childhood home to help my ailing father, who's now passed away. My mother is 91, um, she needs somebody to help care and be there for her. So I'm acting basically as a personal support worker in, the, in, in this household right now, uh, while going back to school and trying to figure out what next for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I, I've just taken a, like a, a second guess with the word abuse and I don't know if it's the right one to be, um, which will hit the target. But let's, I, I just feel like starting there with you. Okay. Okay. Um, and we may, we may stay there or we may go off in another direction, but let's just start there. Okay. So just, just, uh, just let's see what happens when you say, I am, I am an abuser. I am an abuser. what goes on inside of you? Um, well, one side says, 
no freaking way. And the other side says, well, hell yeah, because if I'm being abused, you're hell yeah, I'm going to be abusive. Uh, so part of part of me has been in witness of both sides for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and do you give yourself permission to abuse? I, I, I hate that. I'm always in shock when it happens. You know, when I, when I get assertive and loud and, and I, I have to stake my space and my boundary it's not fun. I hate it. Yeah. So it so, happens when you're under pressure. Yeah. Yeah. When I'm, and it come, I'm triggered or violated. Yeah. Tri triggered or violated and it comes out as a, like a reaction. Yes. Yeah. But actually, when it comes out as a reaction, uh, it doesn't make you feel any safer. And you yeah. probably give yourself a hard number afterwards because you don't like to believe that that that's possible that you, you believe you're a nice person, not an abuser. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's always it's hard. A, yeah, you're, yeah, you're actually more of a wallflower. You're not really an abuser. True, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so, so let's, let's proceed with that, see where it goes. I'm an abuser and I give myself full permission to abuse. Okay, um, I'm an abuser and I give myself full permission to abuse. Yeah, you can start tapping as well. Some of you are already <laughs> doing it, I see. <laughs> ah, yeah. <Okay>. <laughs> I'm an abuser. Oh, no. And, I'm an abuser. and it's really okay. <laughs> and it's really okay. Whew. Oh, boy. I'm an abuser, and it's really, really okay. okay. Yeah. Where are you feeling that when you go, oof, where, where do you see <laughs> that? Like? It's almost like disbelief and relief at the same time. And where, like, where do you ah, feel it in the, in yeah. the body? Where do you feel it in the body? Um, wow. Interestingly enough, it's kind of gripping my lower pelvic region. Yes, I would guess so. It could oh. get very sexy. <laughs> uh, that would be nice, but <laughs> right now it's just gripping. <laughs> okay. Well, allow, the minute, allow the energy to move. Okay, okay. I'm an abuser and, and it's really okay. And it's, a, it's, it's fine, it's good. I'm an abuser. Abuser and, and, good, and good so. I'm an abuser and what? I'm and good. And good, good so. And yeah, it's good. Good so. Okay. Good that I'm an abuser. And yeah. it's good so that I am. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you, you, don't, you, you don't only want to use people. Imagine. You have permission not only to use them, but to uh -huh. abuse them. And that's an interesting thing that you've brought forward because the whole, the whole experience of being used and contracting people that are using me and being such a sucker for it, not realizing it until long after, that's been huge. So, yeah. That's right. So, so they've been, they have actually been not just using you, they've been abusing you. Yes, yeah, yeah. You've been uh, inviting You've been inviting in your life unconsciously people around you to come and abuse you. Yeah. So now it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a user and an, abu and an abuser. I feel like I could make a rap song out of that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> So, like all these subjects, it's a question of when and where. You know, when it when it goes into the application, it's on a question of in what situation is it appropriate yes. to actually use or abuse somebody else. 
Yeah. And, yeah. and the first such situation is the one which you've been facing for most of your life. When somebody is coming now to abuse you or use you in a way that you don't want, you must get in first and abuse them before they have a chance. Well, that's, that's the thing that has sort of been coming forward because I'm really so acutely aware of it now. Yeah. And the last year has been really difficult in, in actually coping with being in witness of myself in that reactive state and then um, really just wanting to get ahead of it too, like not, yeah. not to, for it to go there, um, but to be able to get ahead of it and prevent that kind of reaction. In yeah, the first place. but up to this moment, you've seen it as something you shouldn't really do. For sure, right. So right. You, 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 it's been a reaction up to now. Yeah. And from now, we're turning it into an action. Action. So, okay. I, <laughs> with all the fun your pelvis yeah. is going to have with this. <laughs> right. I'm still trying to make that leap. And you're right. It's like, wow, that's a real twister for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because what you have done, you see, in the reaction, you've had the reaction. It's come out of left somewhere it hasn't been intentional but yeah. it's come there unconsciously and then you've judged it and when you've judged it what you've done is you've abused yourself you understand the yeah. first person who gets abused by your pushing it down is you you yourself true so yeah. so so what we want to have happen now is that you know the next person that comes along and wants to use and abuse you you, it becomes like a game. Mm. Before they can get in, you move first. And okay. it's quite likely you're dealing with people who are like your old self. So you have unconscious people abusing other unconscious people, and yeah. it goes back and forth, and actually there's not much joy for anybody in that. No, yeah. So, but we can't, we're not looking to destroy abuse because that's what everybody is normally trying to do in the world so true. and saying it's bad, you know? So actually we're, we're turning that on its head here. We're saying, look, we're not going to get rid of abuse, but if we're going to do it, we're going to have fun with it. And you actually it's more than just fun. It really is healing because uh, when you will abuse somebody who's coming at you, unconsciously wanting to, you know, unconsciously to abuse you, it'll help to wake them up. True. Yes. There's nothing like a mirror, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and the key is the key is the consciousness at that moment. Okay. And, and you will find it, you will find it quite fun. We don't, we can start by just thinking of use, you know, you want to use, you want to be utilitarian okay. and get use. So, mm. All right. so I'm an abuser and, and it, it's cool. It's great. Let's, try, let's see where you are with that now. Okay. I'm an abuser and it's okay. It's, it's even great. <laughs> That's so bizarre. But I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely going to try this on. <laughs> oh, man. I love turning things on their ears like that. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to the opposite, the polarity. All right. So what would be the opposite for you? Oh, a doormat. <laughs> I'm a doormat. Okay. Badly Let's worked. try that. Too much in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> doormat. Uh, and it's so, not okay. Like that's the tough <laughs> part to actually take on. <laughs> 
I'm a doormat so just, <laughs> and that's yeah. okay. Yes. That doesn't feel good, but oh, wow. <laughs> this, is, this is a good lie for you too. They're both good, both negatives as yeah. Wendy was pointing out, but this will be too, good too. Just imagine there are situations where mm. it will be great to be a doormat as well. Yeah. So you, you yeah. just, just imagine, let me put it in another phrase for you. Um, and it will sound strange at the beginning, but you, you may be able to imagine some very nice situations with this. So if you say, for example, abuse me, please. Abuse me, please. Yeah. How does that sound? That, that just like scary, bizarre. <laughs> Uh, wow, to actually invite it like that, that's bizarre. So just imagine somebody that you would really like to be in relationship with. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Abuse and me. And say, please, please use me and even go beyond using me. Uh, oh, wow. Abuse me, please. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's like, I get the kinky, sexy part of it. <laughs> oh, but yeah, the whole thing is so bizarre. Um, okay. I... That's where you become a willing doormat and will really enjoy it. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's really interesting how powerful words can be yeah um just in how you use them how you wow select them yeah mm -hmm. yeah you're feeling the vibration in your body yes yeah yeah so it's, it's, in your... of, it's like it's just coming in it's just yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's it's in the area you were talking about it's in the second and third chakra yeah, and I'm feeling that sort of that settling right down into through my legs and into my feet right now, that vibration yeah. from that. Yeah. It's like, wow, what it does. And that's that's an interesting thing too, because I have been in so much internal conflict because all of these patterns have just been really brought forward in the last couple of years to such a profound degree that I've been in this gut-wrenching inner conflict, which of course has destroyed my health, but um, I'm realizing how much this reclamation work collapses all of that. It takes the, the polarity away and, 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 and just like, that's where the peace is found, I realize. It's just collapsing the polarity yeah. and, and claiming the polar opposites. Yeah. Yeah. And just sort of it, not even just normalizing them, but even celebrating them. Like, who would have yeah. thunk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, so it feels to me, Maggie, that all this shedding you're doing has been almost like preparing for this moment <laughs> to start a new life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and it's probably also why I still feel like I've been in the storm and the overwhelm of it and I have no clue what the what the next step will be and what's going to unfold yeah. yeah it's a wonderful place to be mm. <laughs> <laughs> another thing to claim <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's, it's the place of birth and creativity mm. mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Kind of like pushing through the womb, right? It can be, it can be dark and painful, and yet, wow, you, you know what's to come, right? Celebrating new life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. it's like the place of nothingness. Great. Which right. All the sages talk about before something can emerge. Yes. And and you, it sounds like you're living that materially in your I life am. right now yeah yeah definitely have been mm -hmm. 
So just allow that, just allow that to be, because one of the biggest fears I talked about the sort of the um, cycles of the soul yesterday. And one of the biggest fears very often is in, in like in the autumn towards winter phase or in the winter phase, that things are, that you can't even imagine spring coming. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. yeah. It feels like you're, you're so much there that you lose almost any sense or hope of spring coming. Yeah, for sure. I definitely relate, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, what it needs is a certain level of faith because spring mm -hmm. comes by itself. You, you can't do it. But it does help to accept winter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I like the way you said that spring comes by itself. There isn't any efforting involved in that. And that's been a bit of a wake up call for me is how much extraordinary amount of efforting I've been doing to try and get to spring. And it's been exhausting. Yeah. So this is, yeah. this is actually what you're talking about is, is depression and burnout. Yes. The relationship between depression and burnout. So mm -hmm. if, you, if you're in autumn, just imagine you're in autumn and you want to be, you think you ought to be in spring. Good luck, yeah. Then, then you're putting more energy, the remaining energy you've got left in autumn, you're putting in to try and get to spring, you burn yourself out even quicker. You get, you know, you just in this yes. endless circle and any little bit of energy that comes, it goes in trying to get to spring, but it's, you're, you're not ready for it yet. You have yeah, to go through exactly, That's exactly what's been happening, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So you just need to, so the thing is, the message is just enjoy winter when spring comes. And when spring comes, just have a ball abusing others. <laughs> and allow yourself to be a doormat. And, uh, and uh, there you go. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. What a concept. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, please don't tell it to any sort of therapeutic society no. or something because I'll probably get arrested. <laughs> But what it what what I love about it is, I mean, whether you do it or don't do it doesn't even matter. What matters is that you've taken the charge out of it. Yeah. And that's what is freeing. And that's what sort of just collapses the, the tension around it and the self-judgment. And yeah. So just in this exercise with you, I, I just feel this great sense of relief because. Mm -hmm hey it's okay it's okay yeah. no matter what who when it's okay <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah thank you thank you maggie Let, let's uh, let's yeah. check out when dan. Yeah. yes thank you dan <laughs> my friend please come off mute you're having a strong reaction i understand to this and i'm recalling oh, yeah so please you're, we're with you right here <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Can you hear me okay? We sure can. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I just, I couldn't even get through that. I, I missed it completely. Um, uh, yeah, I just, I'm an abuser, not okay. And then I just broke down. breathing my friend <sighs> big breath so good because all the feelings are welcome oh. here and all all <sighs> we ask is that you nurture your body if you will humor me while you talk to peter and <sighs> add not just crazy tapping <sighs> there we go there we <sighs> go for all your sweet parts in there they deserve <sighs> that extra help it's so good that's so good. And maybe the opposite arm over the opposite head and tapping the wrong. That's right. That's right. And sometimes eyes open. There we go. That's right. That's right. 
Oh, thank you to your sweet parts for trusting us. That's great. <sighs> and it's easy to breathe. It feels good to <sighs> breathe down into your belly. That's right. <sighs> That's right. It's safe to look at this issue. <sighs> this is the right time and the right place. <sighs> Very good. Thank you. <sighs> yeah. Keep <sighs> breathing. Yeah. <sighs> Do you want to put some words on this, Dan? What's going on? Or what, where this has come from? That could be. Uh, I, I don't know. I just feel hot and electric. Yeah. Kind of all over my body. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put a few words in for you to help Peter. Maybe I'm remembering from years ago when we worked, you used to describe having a hair trigger anger. Yeah. And being really upset about that. And you're a really loving guy and you're a Chinese medicine practice and you've beautiful father and you wanted to be a good father. And I think I'm recalling, was abuse part of your history too, as a boy? Yeah, ver very much verbal abuse, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have a picture of a kind of a man you want to be. And this <sighs> brings up like, oh my God, I don't want to be that kind of man. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I don't know. If that's, so, so what were Peter, yeah. you take it away. Yeah. So, so yes. So this is a very good phrase for you too, Dan, because actually <sighs> what's, happening, what's been happening is that you've, you've got a, you've been going into a massive self abuse. <sighs> yeah. Good job. <sighs> good job. And it's coming out <sighs> right now. <sighs> yeah, there. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, it just feels like, like just bursting, like so much energy. Yeah. So it's it's um, it's actually. Um, try saying try saying I'm a violent I'm a violent man. I'm a I'm a violent man. Yeah. <sighs> and I give myself permission to be violent. <laughs> permission to be followed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> don't, don't go into the drama. Don't go into the drama. Just I'm trying it. not to. It's just coming up. It's just the, yeah. the energy's just coming up. Yeah, well, allow the energy to come up. I'm, I'm a I'm violent man. man. I'm a violent I'm a man. man. Yeah. I'm a violent I'm, man. I give myself permission to be violent. I give myself permission to be violent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a violent man and I give myself permission to be violent yeah because I imagine you was it your father uh, who was violent uh, verbally yes yeah very scary very scary yeah so I'm a violent it, man and I give myself he, permission to be violent very yes. good is he, is he still alive no he passed away years ago okay <sighs> when were you sort of distant from him, frightened of him, distant? Yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did connect that well. Yeah. <sighs> so th this is this is the moment <sighs> that you have the opportunity to connect. Okay. Because he was a violent man. I'm a violent man, and it's okay to be you. Yeah, and and so are you. <laughs> you probably oh, made this, you probably made some kind of promise to yourself that you would never be like like this, right? Sure. Yeah. I didn't want to be what, that. You didn't want to be that. And look what it's been doing with you. <laughs> I'm a violent man, and it's okay to be violent. Yeah. It's actually <sighs> good. It's actually good to be violent. It's, it's an enormous <sighs> lie for you at the moment, still. Yeah. It's perfectly okay. It's, it's perfectly okay for me to be violent. It's good to be violent. <sighs> it's good to be violent. It's perfectly okay to be violent. Uh, what what part of your body is, you know, you we can see you going into all parts of your body right now, but just stay still and, and try and locate 
What part of uh, your body is moving most right now? Um, my, Which part? My feet are buzzing and like from here up. Mm -hmm. is like full of energy. And between your feet and there? Kind of numb. No. Checked out, yeah. Yeah. So allow the energy to move into your into your belly. Oh. Allow it to move. <sighs> I would imagine <sighs> up probably from your feet. Okay. <sighs> yeah, Just that's massive, good. massive shaking. <laughs> yeah, that's good. It's perfectly okay. Allow it just to move. This is actually the reclamation work doing its work. <sighs> yeah, it's good. Keep going. <sighs> your eyes open. Okay. Better. Stay with us. Okay. It's Thank just you. hard. I know. Have you ever had an experience like this before that you're having right now? I think so, yeah. You have, right? Yeah. Can you just give a little description of what that experience was? Or was it in a sort of workshop or a rebirthing seminar or? Yeah, just what, what, what I do, when I do deep release, I get the shakes really bad when I get into stuff. But uh -huh. usually not the emotional stuff as well, just the shakes. Uh huh. So you get the shakes, and then <sighs> what happens? What happens after you get the shakes? I just try to let it pass through as best I can. Yeah. <sighs> like you, like you're doing now. Yeah. And does this happen frequently? When I get to deep stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> so is this a good sign for you that this is happening? Uh, I, I guess it means that I'm getting into deep stuff to me. That's yeah. what it means you, to me. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely getting in the deep stuff. Um, but is it necessary, <sighs> do you think, to get into the shakes? Uh, yeah, you know, it's happened so much, I've kind of just, I can kind of just it. watch it and let it go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm going to give you another phrase now. Okay. Try saying, <clears throat> I can get into the deep stuff, and you can stop tapping for a moment. Okay, sure, sure. I can Try get into the deep stuff. The deep stuff, with and without going into the shakes. 
I could get into the deep stuff with and without get, going into the shakes. Yeah. How does that feel? Uh, the shakes come up. <laughs> <laughs> I can get into the deep stuff with and without going into the shakes. Yeah. I can get into the deep stuff without, with and without going into the shakes. Yeah. Uh, better. I can get into the deep stuff with and without going into the shakes. Yeah. With the emphasis, of course, without, on the without. I mean, we don't want to deprive you from the shakes. I mean, you gotcha. can shake when you want to, but you don't have to shake. <laughs> I can get into the deep stuff with it without going into the shakes. Yeah. I can get into the deep stuff with and with without, going into, without going, in, going into the shakes. So how uh, are you feeling right now? What's happening right now? I'm feeling lighter and clearer. There's still some trembling in my belly, but it's not the usual. Yeah. yeah, and it's in your belly, which is really good. Yeah, yeah. I can get into okay, the deep it, stuff. Oh, sorry. With without, and without going into the shakes, yeah. With and without going into the shakes. Yeah. I can get into the deep stuff with and without going into the shakes. Mm -hmm. The emphasis is really with the, on the without. I mean, okay. you don't have to move at all. You can get into yeah. the deep stuff just by being completely like a rock. I mean... I can get into the deep stuff without going into the shakes. Yeah. <sighs> I can get into the deep stuff without going into the shakes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I can get into the deep stuff without going into the shakes. So when you say that, pay attention to your body, what's going on, you know, the phrase is sort of coming out automatic now, but just stay in touch with, gotcha. with the meaning and, and the vibration there. Stay in touch with your body as you say. I can get into the deep stuff without going into the shakes. Yeah. I can get into the deep stuff without going into the shakes. Yeah, it feels like something's be a lay, like it's being peeled off mm -hmm. from the front this way. Mm -hmm. I can get into the deep stuff without going into the shakes. I can get into the deep stuff without going into the shakes. Okay, so now we're going to go into the polarity of that. Okay. What, what's the opposite of going into the deep stuff for you? Uh, for me, um, it's I, I notice I, I'll go numb. So either you're in deep stuff and shaking, or you're numb. Numb, or or I go into uh, you know avoidance, uh, mental vacation, emotional vacation. <laughs> you know, surf the web, something. You know, check out. If that makes any uh -huh. sense. That that is the opposite. So. So that's your life. You're either shaking or you're numb. Or yeah, yeah. Um, uh, avoiding, I guess, maybe. So yeah. this is what your life up to now has been made of. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Parts of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, well, let's use your word. I, I am, I'm numb and avoiding. Okay. I'm numb and avoiding. And I give myself permission to, to be that too. And I give myself permission to be that too. <laughs> I'm numb and avoiding. And I give myself permission to be that too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm uh, avoiding, and I give myself permission to be that too. <laughs> I have a.
couple questions, Peter, uh, when it's useful. Yep. Well, I'm feeling into, through, through this work, I've been <sighs> feeling all the ways, Dan, you make stuff mean stuff, right? And Peter's useful question to me every time I'm in one of these places is, well, Wendy, what's a useful context for that? So when a minute ago, when we were like, it's, it doesn't have to go global. I'm only the one that goes numb and avoids, or I'm only the violent man, which might be how it's played out as, as Peter just said in life, but like the violent side a second ago, not to take you out of this, but the violent, you heard me about the, my story about being assaulted the other night. Like it would have been damned useful for me to have some more access to, I can be violent, I can be vicious, I can kick this bastard in the nuts without having to worry about it, right? It would have been very useful rather than the hold back, yes? Right. right. Yes, so on either side of this polarity, whether it's the uh, numb and uh, whatever we just said here, the uh, checkout, avoiding, thank you. Now, what's a useful context? What's a little, doesn't mean always, but what's a one useful context for numb and avoiding? Uh, the first thing that came up was, you know, when I would be abused, you know, to be numb. Yeah. What a great uh, body reaction, right? What a great, so you're skilled at this. You're skilled, you, were, you learned as a little one to be really yeah. skilled at that. And you've, you're really great at it, right? So what might happen if you claimed like, damn, I'm good at this. And, and in addition to when you were a boy, what's another one? Because there's probably a lot of them for us. <sighs> when is it useful to be numb and checked out? <laughs> <laughs> With annoying people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> damn straight it is. With annoying people. <laughs> I can think of all uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, good. Uh, okay, so can you say that again? I'm uh, I'm numbed no. and checked out. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, that's right. I'm numb and avoiding and checked out. Yeah, and that's fine. I give myself permission to be numb and uh, avoiding and checked out some of the time. I, I'm numb and checked out and avoiding, and I give myself permission to do that. <laughs> I'm numb and checked out and avoiding, and I give myself permission to do that. <laughs> I'm numb and avoiding and checked out, and I give myself permission to a, do that. Yeah, I'm going to ask another question, <sighs> Peter. I'm just so it's interesting, Keep right going. there. Okay, okay, there's so there's so much. It's interesting because we just felt you like, oh yeah, I can see that some of the time. And it felt like a leap into global judgment. Oh my God. So we, we're words are hearing, I give myself permission, but the affect is, oh my God, it's the worst thing in the world. Can you with me just feel into it in a moment right here? There we go. Good breathing. Actually, don't hold your breath. <sighs> just breathe. <laughs> That's good. Big, big breathing into the belly. Very good. A little <sighs> more. And then, yeah. And so what, so, so feel it, maybe if you just, because they start as benevolent lies anyway, you're not trying uh -huh. to make this true. Yeah, no pressure for that. We're just trying it on, like you're trying on a new outfit, see what that feels like. So, so just think uh -huh. of that context of, oh yeah, it's kind of, I mean, I watched way too much politics in the last couple of years, way too much. Uh -huh. Would have been a little uh -huh. more useful to be a little numb and checked out, frankly, rather than being so <laughs> emotional. We can probably think of a lot of contexts in which that could be. Uh, so you're yeah. around some annoying people. Imagine you're around some annoying people. Put yourself there and then just okay. try saying that, okay? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm numb and checked, checked out, out. And I give myself permission and avoiding. Yeah, damn, I'm smart that I can be numbed and checked out and I'm skilled at this. Huh. They're, they're annoying, I'm numbed and checked out and that's okay. I'm numbed and checked out and that's okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. I've never been checked out and avoiding, and that's good. Yeah. What's your back saying? Uh, is your, is your, yeah, what's happening there? Oh, I'm just, just stretching. Uh, okay. I'm numbed and checked out and avoiding, and that's perfectly okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Just uh, keep breathing. Yep. Just keep breathing. 
<sighs> it's no big it's no big deal i can i can choose yeah. to be numb and checked out and access that and that's okay i'm numb and checked out and avoiding and that's okay yeah that's good it's good because remember it's just one mirror on the disco ball it's yeah. not ever it keeps feeling like you go in there and then you're that's the whole ball you think you're the whole ball is that thing and that's all i got and then Ugh. the other side and so oh, that's all i got I, all i got is violent and this is the worst thing in the world and then jump over to this one. Oh my god this is the truth all Ugh. i got is this you're you're actually you're just embodying that in that moment and then in another moment in time when it's appropriate and great you're embodying another bit but you have access feel with me just for this moment that you got access to all of peter's disco okay. ball thousands of little mirrors right so, <sighs> so the question to you dan is which, yeah. which aspect would you like to experience out of any none of it <laughs> <laughs> uh i mean out of the stuff we've talked about you mean no oh out of I the like, stuff we haven't talked about i'd like to be loving and kind and peaceful so that's what you're you're trying to be right but, um well that's what i aspire towards mm -hmm. um but uh <sighs> But actually, you're trying to do it by not being violent and not being numb. Yeah, yeah. And that doesn't seem to be working at the moment. No, yeah, sure. Yeah. So um, I, I have a, I've got another thing I'd like to try with you. Sure, uh, sure. I can't remember exactly what our first phrase was. It was something like, I, I can, can I'm you... an abuser? Was you, no, were you, no, 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 the, by, walking by. into the deep. Um, oh yeah, I shake and... Uh, we're so, about, right. I, what was it we were? I can we, get into the deep stuff with or without getting into the shakes. Get into Thank the you. deep stuff. Okay, get into the deep stuff without getting into the shakes. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I'd like you to just try saying I'm superficial. Okay, I'm superficial. How does that feel? Okay. <laughs> uh, it feels surface, uh, but calm. Yeah. So do you like being superficial? Apparently so. <laughs> Uh, but How superficial. If we were to ask you about five minutes ago, whether you like being superficial, mm, I don't know. Um, yeah. So I, 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 I have a sense that this is a good place to go to. Okay. I'm a really superficial man. I'm a really superficial man. Yeah. Yeah. There's. That feels a little, yeah. Yeah, so. But, but, I'm a really but, superficial man. Superficial man, but it feels like a really good place to go, doesn't it? It feels calmer. It's like the calm water instead of a stormy sea. Yeah, exactly. So I'm superficial and it's really good. I'm superficial and it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm superficial and it's really good. So, so this is, we're giving you, you got the permission now to be superficial. Just imagine you don't, you don't even have to go deep. Okay. I'm superficial and it's good. Yeah. I'm superficial. Feels, oh, go ahead. It's good. It's really it's good. good. It feels like you've got this attachment to going deep with everything. I, I guess, cause I want to get rid of it. Get rid of what? Whatever's holding me back, whatever the garbage is. You're the garbage. <laughs> uh, I'm superficial and I'm garbage. 
I'm superficial <laughs> and I'm garbage. <laughs> and <Yeah>. it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm superficial and I'm garbage. Yeah. I'm superficial and I'm garbage. Yeah. Who'd have thought? <laughs> <laughs> I'm superficial and I'm garbage. And it's good to be superficial yeah. and garbage. Yeah. I'm superficial and I'm garbage. And it's good. And I give myself permission to be superficial and garbage i'm superficial and i'm garbage just look down a bit more you're looking oh, up sure. all the time so just right try looking into looking at people here sorry no you i mean you you can apologize but we all know now you're superficial and garbage anyway so <laughs> you can <laughs> I'm superficial and I'm garbage, and that's perfectly good. Yeah. I'm superficial and I'm garbage, and that's okay. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I'm superficial and I'm garbage, and that's I'm perfectly all right. In English, we say in England, we say a piece of rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm a piece of garbage, <laughs> and that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a piece of garbage and that's okay. And it's actually rather good. I'm a piece of garbage and it's actually rather good. I, and I love it. I'm a piece of garbage and I love it. Now, now at the <laughs> moment, you're just repeating it and it's not right. really landing, but it's okay because you're just garbage. So <laughs> I'm a piece of garbage and it's really good. Yeah. I'm a piece of garbage. I'm a piece of garbage, and that's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we now we go back into. Um, I get into the deep with and without shaking. Let's see get, where that is. Okay. I, I can, get into I get the deep. deep. Oh, I can. I can get into the deep with and without. Without shaking. going into without going into the shakes. That was the word you were using. Okay. I can get into the deep without going into the shakes. Yeah, how is that now? Good, a little fluttery, but good. Yeah, it's much more solid than it was before. Yeah, I can get into the deep, deep. without going into the shakes. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I can get into the deep without going into the shakes. Going into the shakes. And, and with as well, with and without. We'll give you back the shakes when you want them. So with okay. and without going into the shakes. I can go into the deep. I can go into the deep with and, and without going into the, into the shakes. Getting yeah. into the shakes. I can yeah. go into the deep with and without, and without. going into the, without going into the shakes. Yeah. I can go into the deep. With and without going into the shakes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I can go into the deep with and without. I can go into the deep with and without going into the shakes. Yeah. Now we'll go back again. I'm okay. a piece of superficial garbage. I'm a piece of superficial garbage. And it's great. And it's great. I'm a piece of superficial garbage, and it's great. Yeah. So uh, I, I would say I'm feeling, Dan, we've come quite a long way. Yeah. And yeah. there's some more to go, but I think probably it's probably sufficient for the moment. Um, okay. I would suggest we just leave it there. I don't know if, you, if there's if anything further. I have a feeling that... Uh, you have a tendency uh, to want to go too deep. Mm. In other words, to keep going and keep going and keep going. Yeah, I and want to I, get it done. I want to get it over. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to stop you here. Okay. Say, say we've done enough right now. All right. Very good. Thank you. We've done enough. Just let it, let it be. Let it find its own way. It's something has started and just 
You don't, you don't have to do anything, right? Okay. You don't need to do anything. It, it's, it, let it do it, let itself, let it do it by itself. Okay. From here. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Both of you. Thank you. I'm curious to know how we are in the rest of the room. We're also almost yeah. out of time. Oof, we do have a surprise. Flat. I know, I know. Uh, so is there anyone that's burning that needs to say something that came up out of that for you? I don't want to leave a dangling thread because that was quite emotional work. So I'm just checking, but I don't see any hands actually. Uh, Maggie. Uh, Ma oh, Maggie. Yeah, Maggie, go ahead. Uh, hi, I just... I just want to say thank you so much, Dan, for coming forward and going that deep. Um, uh, there was a point where I just had to turn the video off and just bawl out loud. Um, it was a real gift that you followed me with what you shared because all of a sudden I was able to experience both my father and my ex fiance through you and your experience just now. And I really feel that it was such a gift to be in witness of that. Um, I'm still deeply touched by it. I still feel it really in my heart. And I'm just so grateful that you had the courage to come forward like that. And it makes... Oops. Are you, you're muted now, Maggie. Something happened there in the middle. Yeah, there we that's go. Accidental. Um, okay. I'm just uh, wanting to finish by saying that this is really going to help me um, um, uh, heal uh, the incredible grief that I've been just uh, stuck with and carrying. And uh, it's, it's, it's been a true gift. So thank you. Thank you very, very much <laughs> for all of you. Um, this, it's amazing. Wendy and Peter, the way that you're just processing with with Dan and, and I'm just absolutely in amazement to, to, to be a witness to this. Thank you so much. Thank you, Maggie. Mm -hmm. And Wendy, uh, Kiara and Jackson. Were okay, there. great. Uh, uh, Jackson, I saw you had it. Go ahead, Jackson. Hey, um, yeah, the last thing, the superficial part and the maybe you go too deep part really hit home with me and it was like a little bit uh, felt like an accusation because <laughs> I for everyone here I was in the CU money course that Nadia did and that was how I was approaching I was going so deep and the course is over now but I only made it like less than halfway through because I went so deep that I kind of burned out on it and I haven't on it in a while mm -hmm. um but Nadia did that exact uh, reclamation statement with me. One of the first calls was like, I'm superficial and it's okay. And that was very, it opened me up a lot. And, uh, but I still relate to the tendency to go too deep. So it was, yeah, it shook me a little bit to hear that again. <laughs> Thank you. It's funny. I, I can relate, so I, I understand. And Kira, what were you going to say? Or no, I'm sorry, it was Leisha. Leisha, you can come off mute. Yeah, the superficial. Oh my God, that was huge. I'm superficial and that's okay. I mean, I struggle so much with being authentic and being, and, and not this, whatever. I'm superficial. F, yes, I love it. So thank you. There's freedom in there. Absolute oh. freedom in there. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Deborah, I see you have your hand raised. And the first thing I want to say to you, girl, is well, uh, we have a solution in just a second. I will share. Deborah, can you come off? Did you have a comment about this work that just happened? Yeah. And maybe wanting to reclaim, I'm screwed over because you probably kept promising me to. No, <laughs> and you would get to you. And then the, it, it's, 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 eight. it's another opportunity to surrender, right? So. Yeah. I mean, I obviously took something from everybody's, but you know, I couldn't really relate to Dan's situation in specific. 
but it did help me come up with my own analogies. My whole thing is not being good enough. So I started writing my own reclamation <coughs> just for fun. You know, like I give myself permission to not be good enough. Oh, it's wonderful. okay to not be good enough. Um, and there's no such thing as good enough. And that's okay. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm good to not be good enough because then people won't ask you to do stuff. <laughs> so, exactly. Like, even though my situation wasn't his, I, I still had, I still was rolling with it. I don't know if that makes any sense, Peter, if that's possible. Perfect. Um, you know, it's like, holy shit, I don't have to be good enough. Who's the judge anyway? You know? <laughs> Outstanding. You're, and exactly you're good, at, you're good enough at creating your own phrases. I can tell you that. <laughs> Outstanding. Yeah work with those. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. And Kira, you raised your hand. What's occurring to you? Yeah, I was, um, I dropped off the call and I got back on in time, but as Dan was doing his work there, it occurred to me, I used to do an awful lot of that shaking, but, it, but because I had so little capacity in my nervous system to take any more shocks. And <clears throat> at some point I was able to unpack some of them. At some point, I was able to unpack that a wee bit and that left me with more capacity. And it's, I think now I'm at the point where I've there's been that many shocks and not much unpacking I have released and I have a huge amount of capacity in my system now. <clears throat> and so I just want to uh, thank Dan and, and congratulate him actually on on the piece of work he's just done there. Yeah. And for both you and, and Wendy and Peter, for your skillfulness and being able to guide him and all of us through all of that. Thank you. Thank you, Kira. Thank you. Uh, I'm so touched by today. I'm so touched by these three days. Uh, we are out of time. And there's a couple things about that. The first thing I'd like to say is I was unreasonable again, and I uh, asked Peter for a favor, basically. And so what I, I did an ethical bribe with him, and I'm going to do an ethical bribe with you, all of you that are here. So if you're willing to send us an honest review to the help desk, good, bad, or otherwise, however this was for you, send an honest review, just hit reply on any of the emails I've sent you, but in the change the subject line to say review. If you would write that down and send that back to us this week, then we will in return, Peter has generously uh, agreed to do an extra bonus session, another two hour session on Friday, May 7th at the same time as now. So kiss the ground, this deal just got so much better. Look at this, the people are happy with the hands. I'm thrilled because I could feel that uh, I estimated six hours at the beginning and, and there's so much happening and we're going and I didn't wanna leave you and I hoped he'd be willing and he so generously was. And so that's the ethical bribe. For those that send us uh, to back to reply my email and send your honest review about how this was for you, then we will send you a brand new link. It'll be a different link for a Zoom call that will happen on May 7th and you'll also receive the recording for that. So thank you for that. And in a moment, I'll be curious to hear takeaways that have come out of the, the entire time uh, that we've been here together. But first, I'd like to open it back up to Peter. Uh, anything you'd uh, like to say about this? And, it, well, and did actually, I miss I something? Just, yeah. I was just, um, I don't know if you saw this last exchange of emails we had with Nadia and so forth. Um, I was actually saying next Friday would work better for, uh, better oh. for me. Okay, um, let, let me just check. That's so what, April 30th. Oh, April 30th. Oh, I can do that. If that, I, I didn't see that exchange. I'm sorry, I just saw part of Na, it. Nadia, we have, Nadia and I have something just before, but for me, it's perfectly okay. And actually ah. that date is a bit better. And I was feeling into us actually here. Yes, yes. And feeling that six days is maybe the next one should be in six days time rather than two weeks time. Great, almost. great. I don't know, but I'm, I'm I no, could that actually, do May 7th, but no, that feels, do a final no, tune in? No, my tune in is the same as yours. My tune in is six, because we're in so much momentum 
and then yeah. life interrupts and all this stuff and we want to keep all this juicy going on yeah. so so i'm all over that actually so in six okay. days on the 30th at the same time so that yeah. just means somewhere in the next do, do a kindness to my sweet assistants and if you want to be in on that call in that zoom send us your honest review within three days please don't send it to me friday morning and expect to get the link it won't happen so just send us an honest review somewhere in the next 72 hours and we will happily give you a new zoom link for six days from now on friday the 30th thank you right. peter and Pleasure. yeah uh and anything i uh, uh well maybe we'll take this from the room and then i'll hear from you whatever your final thoughts are for our time mm -hmm. together okay so i'm curious just in laser speak laser coaching speak go ahead and let us know what are you taking away what's the standout because this is not for my ego or peter's ego this wakes people up to, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So we wanna maximize your learning. These takeaways are so, so, so helpful. So let's just do a few laser speak uh, takeaways from the three days. What stands out for you? What touched your heart? What are you gonna be contemplating going forward? What was the impact? Uh, let's see, Lisa, please come off mute. I think for me was the idea of taking all of those things that I would be more afraid that I would ever have to face myself with is superficial, abuser, um, violent, all of the things that I would never want to look at myself and say that is part of my mosaic mm -hmm. came in and um, actually hit at very, very deep <laughs> profound levels. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Appreciate that. So funny. Uh, Laura, Laura L, what are you taking away? Sneeze. That's okay. That's okay. Funny. Laura L, what are you taking away? <coughs> I, I think it's more of what I am leaving and that's going to be my guilt. <sighs> Huge. Wow. Wow. And how about that piece that Peter told us about that guilt is never what we think it's about. It's always an indication. It's a beautiful gift as a, as a flashing light. Oh, this is another play, a reminder, ding, ding. I'm not living up to my life that I wanna be. I'm not fully alive. Focus, new direction, thank you. Laura, that's outstanding, yes. thank you. And great word here, thank you so much. T, what are you taking away? Well, I'm taking away just the universality of the things that, that for me, I think are uniquely me and um, how, what strength there is in vulnerability um, and I feel personally, I feel a lot lighter and more carefree. And I'm really excited, kind of like Deborah did, to use this idea that, that remove the polarities and play with both sides and feels really exciting to me. So I'm really grateful, Wendy, that you attacked, I, I was going to say attacked, <laughs> attacked, attached to Peter, and that Peter, you and Naja came together to, to do this for us. And I love everyone who showed up too. The people who were here for this work are also just amazing. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, T. And D. Terrell, what are you taking away? I just wanted to say how fast and effective this work is. It's, it's powerfully fast and effective. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Really, really good. Maggie, what are you taking away? Um, I just, first of all, aside from the fact that this uh, process is just so full of ease and grace and so holistic, um, what, what I really captured here is just uh, how profound um, a, a form of self-love this is. I've spent my whole life trying to figure it out <clears throat> this whole self-love concept and of course it was always just so many messages about what you should be doing and all these external strategies and this is going deep dive right into the source and it's it's all about a profound level of self-acceptance <clears throat> taking everything that you what wanted to deny and repress or not even believe about yourself and just completely blowing it wide open and saying, I, am, I embrace all, I accept all, everything's okay, great, let's even celebrate it. That's profound. So um, that's the big takeaway is, wow, I, I finally found a way to truly love myself. 
Yeah. It's no big deal. No big deal there, right? Like oh uh, <laughs> tiny <laughs> takeaway there, Maggie. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, <laughs> yes. Naima, I see you writing in the chat. I don't see your hand up, but girl, we didn't hear from you once. What are you taking away from the part, the parts you were able to be here for? I'm calling her out. Well, I see. Hi, everybody. First of all, you are amazing. So thank oh. you. And Peter, you already know, I have so much love for you too. Um, these sessions were just the depth, I'm gonna say the universality again, but like T said, I felt that. Um, and I think Deborah also touched on something that even when the reclamation doesn't speak directly to you, it speaks to you because it brings something up, right? So it may not be hiding, but it's gonna be something and just listening to someone else reclaim gives you the freedom to reclaim whatever it is. So, Powerful work, everyone. So much love here. I love this last st statement about reclamation is profound self-love. That is beautiful. And I just feel like it speaks to the work in such, such a soul level way. So thank you. And thank I can't you. wait to Friday session. <laughs> I'm so happy to see your face, girl. So nice Thanks, to see Wendy. you. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Uh, is there anybody that I missed? Actually, Jolene, putting you on the spot too. What are you taking away? You've been so, but could we just, wait a minute. Could we just all give a big woohoo to Jolene? Uh, we've had all these people and Jennifer help, but Jolene has been watching your chat. She'd send me a summary every day. This is how many people, This was. these were the themes. This is where we went. Just stellar. Can we just on three, give Jolene mm -hmm. a big woohoo, please. Ready? Oh, come off mute. Wait, wait, come off mute. Okay. One, two, three. Woohoo! Jolene! Thank you. Yay. had to drop off, so this will be a little surprise in the recording for her. I took it her I'd finish up for her. She had to drop off. Oh, she did. Okay, thank you. Well, that will be a little surprise for her. Yeah, we took her right in the middle of her work day. Sorry, but she'll hear that. Hey, Jen, do you have a takeaway? What you had so much occur? Anything stand out for you out of this? Yeah, I definitely um, I feel more free around everything, knowing that I can just do this. Like I have a like I've seen you do it a lot, but there was a way I couldn't quite do it for myself. But now I feel like I have what I need to be doing it for myself. And I actually walked a friend through a reclamation the other night and I was like, yeah, I want to do this because normal coaching like it irritates me. Um, and I have multiple coaching certifications and coaching irritates me, but this, so it's, just, it's like a, it's a way I can channel those skills in a more effective and useful way that I also enjoy. So, and just my own profound change. It's like, I'm, I'm kind of like deer in the headlights right now. Cause it's so much to process. I'm like, uh, like not in a bad way, but I'm just like, yeah, there's a lot. And so I'm just sitting with it, but I'm happy that there's a lot. It means some good things happen. So fantastic. I've really enjoyed everybody who got up and got vulnerable. Yeah. It's it's all every single one touched me in some way. So. Peter, we are I'm so grateful to everybody. We're so over time, nearly 30 minutes. So we'll let Peter, do you have any final words about uh any of this? Understanding that we'll be coming back in six yeah. days for those that want to come. Um just a suggestion. If you feel in the mood, do just start doing the work by yourself. In other words, reclaiming what you notice when you have projections on money or on anything else, which, uh, in other words, whenever you feel triggered by something, you can know that there's some projection running somewhere. So you figure out what that is. You, you say the, the phrase to yourself and just see what happens. I, I, they, they, they're a similar in a certain sense to what we what are known as affirmations, but they, they're different because you're not taking them off the shelf from Louise Hay or somewhere else. It's really that, you know, they're, they're refined to the particular situation. And I, if I call them anything, I call them self-referential statements. So, you know, you're re referring something to yourself, a statement uh, to yourself, a self-referential statement. Well, 
And I'll say that uh, being the girl that sort of eschewed affirmations for a long time, energetically, these reclamations function so dramatically differently than affirmations do, which create cognitive dissonance that you're fighting all the time. And since we're going to the body and you're saying you, you dial in precisely what the thing is and you can feel the body have the reaction when you've landed on the right word or phrase or whatever it is. Uh, and then you just keep doing it as Peter says, there's a vibration to it. And you're not trying to make yourself believe something that you don't believe. You're just, you're being with it. And then it just kind of shakes out. And I, I haven't even got words around this yet about how different this is from um, affirmations. Even somebody else, a whole bunch of people try to say, oh, that's the same as Byron Katie. No, it's not. It's a universe apart from Byron Katie. Byron Katie has some interesting knowledge about reject projections, but my, in my humble experience, the girl that's gone to the depths of the ocean to mine for gold, every single tool I could possibly do to heal my own mess, um, th this is light years apart from that or anything else. So we are blessed beyond measure. Uh, I'm going to thank all of you for coming. Thank Peter again. Thank Nadja for when she was here. And uh, send us in a little blurb about your honest review, and then we will send you the new link uh, sometime this week. We'll meet those that want to do that. We'll come back in six days. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. At the beginning of this, before we even technically started, I was sharing that I had my, um, uh, there's, a, there's an ability that I have to once in a while things lock into place and I can see where it's going to go, where something can go. And, and what we all contributed to here is, is at the birth or the beginning of something that's going to begin to transform the planet. It's not like reclamations haven't before. Of course they have dramatically, but there's something that just started that um, you all contributed mm -hmm. to making humanity better in some way that I don't know. I just know that it is. So uh, blessings to all of us. Give yourself, prize yourself Debbie? for every way. Yes, Kira, what? This is Debbie. Oh, Debbie. Yes, Debbie, honey. Yes. I would just like to prize you for creating oh. this fabulous opportunity and to thank Peter for agreeing to do this and for giving so much of your skill to help all of us grow so much so quickly. Thank you, honey. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you Thank so you. much. We will receive it. So um, blessings to all. Peter, go ahead and say goodbye. So you're the last face on the screen because we don't okay. see you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Bye. Good job. Bye. Good job. Bye. Enjoy your day. Bye. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. 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 Have a fabulous weekend. <laughs> Aloha. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.